Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. My name is Afrina Darusha and this is my team member Muhammad Nazmi Faiz and Laimam Wei. We are from Faculty of Manufacturing Engineering in University Technical Malaysia Melaka. This video is about automation studio system under the industrial automation course. Our system is about plastic injection molding. In our system, we include three main parts in the plastic injection molding industry which is the belt conveyor, the injection molding machine, and the robotic arm. This is our injection molding system. As you can see on the PLC card, we have 4 input and 5 output. For input 0, we have a start push button. This push button is to start the machine and also the conveyor. For input 1, we have a stop push button. This push button acts as an emergency button and also to stop the machine from running. For input 2, we have sensor 1. Sensor 1 is actually a photoelectric sensor. The sensor is to detect dust presence on the mold. For input 3, we have a proximity sensor. Proximity sensor is located on the mold. This sensor is to make the inject piston extend. And lastly, for input 4, we have sensor 2. Sensor 2 is actually also a photoelectric sensor. This sensor is to make the robotic arm extend to push the parts on the conveyor. For the output, we have R1 for the output 0. R1 is the light indicator to show that the machine is on. For output 1, we have M1. M1 is the motor for the conveyor. Output 2, we have C1. C1 is attached to the hydraulic single acting with spring return cylinder for the mold. For output 3, we have C2, a solenoid that is attached to a single acting cylinder with spring return, also a hydraulic component. For output 4, we have a relay 2. This is to actuate the cylinder for robotic arm, which is C3 for input 5. This is how the system works. First, we push the start button to turn on the machine and to move the conveyor. If S1, the photoelectric sensor, sends no dust on the mold surface, the S1 will activate to make C2, the mold's piston, to extend until it reaches the proximity sensor. The proximity sensor will make the injection plastin to extend for 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, the inject piston will stop injecting plastic and the mold will open to allow the parts to fall on the machine's base. Sensor 2, the robotic arm, will activate if the photoelectric sensor detects the parts present and push the part to the moving belt conveyor. Again on how the system works, from pressing the start button and then S1 is activated until it reaches proximity 1. Inject piston is extend for 5 seconds and then S2 will activate. Back to S1. Inject piston is hold for 5 seconds to allow parts to solidify inside the mold. And then S2 is activated. This system will stop running when the stop button is pressed. So, the machine is stop running and the conveyor will stop moving. As we all know, plastic injection molding is a mass production industry and the machine will operate repeatedly to produce parts. This system shows how one plastic injection part is produced in a single process. We take S1 as a normally open push button because in Automation Studio 5.2, there are no photoelectric sensor. This process continues because the timer is being reset after 5 seconds to produce the next parts and so on until the stop button is pressed. 